Psycho Espina has been living at this apartment complex for six years. I don't feel right about this. High above Bowman Road, he's certainly got a view. Just not the kind anyone would want, especially if this was your backyard. It wasn't actually like this at all at first, but like from now, after maybe like a few projects that they do, and they, they just bring over the and dump um, their leftovers all on here. The problem has gotten so out of hand, the Guam Environmental Protection Agency was called in to investigate. Guam EPA Administrator Eric Palacios confirms that Eons Enterprises Corporation was issued a notice of violation, order of compliance, and administrative order. It consisted of a combination of uh, solid waste violations and potentially um, hazardous waste violations as well. In other words, the company was ordered to clean up its act. According to Palacios, because it was their first time offense, the fine was only $4,000. Right now, uh, the respondent has 15 days to either file an appeal um, or request to meet with me um, and, and discuss a possible settlement. Uh, depending on several things, uh, how quickly he's able to come into compliance, how quickly he's able to mitigate the situation that we discovered, um, and how uh, quickly he's able to pay uh, some kind of monetary penalty will determine what he eventually pays. Guam EPA is working with the violator to ensure the site is immediately cleaned for the health and safety of tenants like a subpoena who has a three-year-old and five-year-old. I'm just saying all this because, you know, for the safety and the uh, matter of fact, kids here are playing around, running around this area and where they have some hazardous stuff like these metals and things. We prefer to have it removed from here for the better and the safe life for the young kids playing around. They were heard from the metal stuffs and these garbage things. They have cuts, sores. The company has until August 28th to file an appeal. Palacios, however, assures the community that even if they pay up or reach a settlement, eons will still have to clean up their mess. They are responsible to immediately begin, begin cleanup efforts. They are responsible for the uh, uh, payment of the disposal and the mitigation efforts that uh, will ensue. Um, so that's all on top and on top of and separate and apart from what they will pay to the agency. Okay. Esapina hopes the place is cleaned because the children in the neighborhood deserve better.